everyone, Belinda here back again for Horror Tree and back again with another dose of my Horror Tree weekly wrap up. And today I'll be talking about four submission calls that are currently up on the Horror Tree website. So let's get started. Okay, first up is Herith Magazine, Parabnormal Magazine. Now, the theme for this is paranormal. Um, and for them, it includes ghosts, spectres, haunts, various whisperers, and so forth. It also includes shapeshifters and creatures from various folklores. Please note, creatures like vampires, ghouls, werewolves, and zombies are not paranormal. Now, for this submission call, shapeshifters for the purpose of this magazine refer to the spiritual shift, not the physical. Think Native American shaman, Paranormal activity centers around the human, not the creature. Now, there is a lot of detail for this submission call, far too detailed for me to go into in this video, so please jump on the website and check it out. Okay, they are after looking for original stories between 3,000 and 6,000 words. They do not accept flash or microfiction. They pay $25 for an original story. Submission window opens on the 1st of October and closes on the 30th of November. Okay, um, they are after stories that no matter, the theme for this is no matter how far we move forward as humans, we are still bound by the instincts and ancestral memories of our animalistic past. None of these are so strong as the fight or flight response. And however, there are times when we seem to be perfectly safe, completely at ease and comfortable. And when that urge to run from something sneaks up on us, what causes it? Is it something lurking in the darkness? Is it someone giving you the creeps? Is it something odd? Is it a, a memory that we've evoked somehow that's making us want to want to run? So that's what they're after. Legends, beasts, dark spirits, ghoulies. That's what they want. Okay, they are after stories of between 3,000 to 6,000 words. They do not accept flash or microfiction, and they are not accepting simultaneous or multiple submissions. Um, payment is $25 for original stories, and the submissions open on the 1st of October and close on the 30th of November. Okay, next up is Thinking Ink Press, the Neurodiversive Anthology. Now, the theme for this is the universe is filled with aliens, creatures with different histories, cultures, and even biologies who seem strange to us. But our world is filled with a diversity of people, many of whom find each other strange. One particular group finds the rest of humanity especially strange. Neurodiv neurodivergent people. Would neurodi neurodivergent folks find themselves at an advantage in dealing with aliens? Let's find out. Okay, they are after short stories of up to 6,000 words, flash fiction of up to 1,000 words, poetry of up to 100 lines, black and white line art illustrations, no simultaneous submissions, and multiple submissions are okay. Now, Got to say, a mixed bag for every creative out there. This is a, a fantastic opportunity for everyone and everyone. Poets, writers, artists, great opportunity. Okay, back to it. Um, they are after payment is $100 per short story, $50 per flash fiction story, $50 per poem, and $50 to $100 per illustration, depending on size and complexity. And the submissions close on the 31st of December. Okay, next up is Air and Nothingness Press. We are all thieves of somebody's future. Now, the theme for this is they're looking for stories for this anthology, which will collect stories with the theme resource scarcity, using up the last of a critical resource and dealing with the aftermath. Authors could also explore hope punk, solar punk, fantasy, they're open to all genres. All stories, they're looking for all stories between 1,000 and 3,000 words. Payment is eight cents per word. And submission windows open on the 1st of November and the 31st of December. And last, certainly not least, is Speculation Publications, Yule. 
a collection of Yuletime tales. Now, the theme for this is the winter solstice is the longest night of the year, but light will return by degrees after that December night. They want stories about what happens in those dark and still winter months, stories of transformation and growth, stories of the winter witch, cold forests, elves and magical places, old ghost stories. All genres are welcome as long as it's Yule and Solstice centred. Now, please see the website for this submission call because there is a lot of detail, far too much for me to go into in this video. But they are looking for submissions of pagan Yule, not Christmas stories, all stories of graphic sacrifice, especially that of animals, children, or women. Now, the length, they're looking for stories of between two and a half to 8,000 words due Sorry, submissions close on the 16th of October. Payment is $10 plus a contributor's copy if you reside in the US. If you are outside of the US, an e-copy. And that's it, guys. Another amazing week of amazing submission calls for some absolutely fantastic opportunities for artists, poets, and writers. Get yourself out there. Get your work loved. Get your work seen go for it. If any of these submission calls appeal to you, all the information you need is up on the Horror Tree website. Jump on there, check it out. And if you are going to submit, of course, always all the absolute best of luck to you. And if you are liking these videos, please hit like, hit subscribe, hit comment, hit share, send us an email, send us some feedback. We love hearing from you guys. And until next time, as always, thank you for watching and stay safe, stay cool and stay spooky. See you later.